To start out coding this circuit, we're going to click the code button at the top. Now, there's already a stack of code here, so we're going to grab that and either pull it out of the coding window or to the trash can to get rid of it. We are going to start fresh. So one of the things we need to look at is our input wire from the button. It's the one that's connected with the resistor to ground, goes into pin number two is where that's supposed to be. Move my wire there. Um, and um, the output goes to the positive side of our LED. So what we want to do is we want to, to whenever the signal is pressed here, we want it to send a signal into the board, the board to process it, and to tell pin 13 to turn on. The way we're going to start that is under control. When we start under control, we've got a lot of stuff going on. So what we want to do is we want to use an if-then-else statement. Okay? And if-then would probably work, but for our purpose of learning um, the programming, if-then-else. So we're going to say if something happens, then do what's here. If it, that's not true, then do what's here. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this out into the coding area and drop it down. By the way, if you'd like more space, you can drag this window out. I always like to see my circuit when I'm programming it, but I also like plenty of space. So I'll set my window up something like this. So the first thing I'm going to do is we need to do a math operation. So we're going to click to math. And we're going to grab this second block. For those of you that haven't used Scratch before, the shapes of things tell you, tells you what goes there. So I am going to grab this and drop it right in there. Okay. Now, what I want is I have an input. Again, my button is an input. So I want it to read digital pin, and then I've got a drop-down box. And you'll notice that my spots here are round. So I can grab this one, and I can put it right there and say read digital pin 2. And what's going to happen is, is this is a button. It's either on or it's off, or in Arduino terms, it is high or it is low. So if I go back to math, this is one of the things to memorize. My high-low option is here. So I'm going to put this in. And I'm going to say if pin to digital 2 is equal to high, then, and in here I'm going to do what I want it to do. So that's going to be under output. So I have to set pin 13 to high as well. So that will turn that on. So set pin 13, I have to scroll down, to high. Else, okay, if it's not pressed, I want it to set pin 13 to low. So again, reading through it, because it does read like a kind of like a sentence, if di um, digital pin 2 is equal to high, then set pin 13 to high else or otherwise set pin 13 to low. Once I've done this, there's really nothing special to do other than to click start simulation. Once it initializes and starts, I should be able to come over here and click on the button. And when I click and hold on the button as though I'm pressing it down, the light is on. As I let go, the light is off. 